How you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Um, look, I'm blessed and highly favored. And I'm so happy to be here. I mean, it's been my, um, I mean, I've wanted to get here for so very long. And uh, now that I'm here, I'm just soaking it all in. I've soaked up the, the, the first 12-hour flight to get here. So I'm looking forward to even the, the 12-hour flight back. So I'm soaking it all up. So where were you going back to? Going back to Huntsville, Alabama. Going back to the South. Dirty South. <laughs> So is this your first time in London? Very, very first time. So, oh. um, you know, I'm so thrilled to have been here and be a part of three sold out shows. Um, one here in London, the first one on Friday night at Jazz Cafe. Um, and, and Saturday night at O2 uh, Academy and, and, and tonight. <laughs> yeah, in Birmingham. And then tonight and, and, and you know. London again at Jazz Cafe, so it's been a, a thrill for me. So, like I said, I've been soaking it up. So, how do you find the UK audience? Very receiving and inviteful, <laughs> and they've had they had their eyes on me at this uh, at every single moment. So, that's engaging. So, when I feel that and I see that, it, it's it's great. I can't do nothing but feel it and, and uh, vibe perform. off it and. Right. I think they loved your performance with the microphone and um, to the lady. I call out work just for this purpose. <laughs> I said now, just cause it's cold outside. And the sun is shining. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look, I can't, I can't grab a woman and do those things that I did with that mic stand. So it's much safer. I'm not going to get locked up. I have my passport, but I can't, I mean, I got to fly home. So I couldn't do that with an actual woman, with an actual body, a warm body of a woman. And, and Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. But, you know, but it's easy to do it with a mic stand and uh, get away with it. So, what are you um, promoting at the moment, Noel? At the very moment, I mean, um, always promote my, my past albums uh, after my time and uh, fresh to definition. But I'm recording a new album, and it's uh, it's called City Heart, Southern Soul, and uh, it's gonna be coming out very soon. Foxy is, uh, you know, the first exclusive that we've had serviced over here in the UK. And, you know, it's very, uh, I'm very proud to have done that uh, with my man, Dane Brownie. And, you know, a lot of people that have had a, uh, had a hand in, in supporting it. So a lot of people over here in the U.K. And that's the reason why we've made it exclusive at the very front, so at the, from the gate. So, you know, City Heart, Southern Soul, I'm so very uh, excited about it. And it's going to be coming soon. I mean, whether we're doing the EP which is going to be served in slices, you know that southern thing, slices pie type of thing, you know. But uh, pie. yeah, whether we're going to do that in in EPs or uh, in one LP, um, it's still to be determined. But very excited about it. So, how would you describe your music? Let me see. You know, I've learned. I've watched a lot of interviews, Miss Natalie, mm. and I've learned that single keywords is very effective in points like this you know in times like this and i can say timeless um my new project is um let me see like i step out on the ledge i'm taking chances um 
let me see. It's it's always gonna be integrity. It's always gonna be soul. And a big part of me, which which is I'm always happy to give a big part of me to people because a lot of the times people seem to conform in this industry uh, today and a lot of people in the states I'm speaking about in the states mostly they seem to conform and this soul music genre there's no need to conform because this soul music has been around for years and years 50 60 years and uh, I'm just trying to make the best music that I can actually make and possibly make and uh, bring people real, relatable music. So, no, how can people find out more about your music? Where will they find you? First and foremost, Miss uh, Beautiful Natalie, <laughs> they can find out about me on my website, noelgordine.com, N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N. They can check me out on Twitter, which is at noelgordine, same name, N-O-E-L-G-O-U-R-D-I-N. And uh, on Facebook, I have two pages on Facebook. So if you join me on one page, I implore you to, to join me on the other. I have a band page and a personal page. Uh, one of them is going to be going away real soon. So get on the band page, I implore you. And, you know, thank you so much for being a supporter of Noel. Team Noel. Hashtag T-E-A-M Noel. So thank you so much. Well, you have a song, By the River, it topped the billboards in America. Yes. I mean, that record right there was, I mean, really in a sense it was uh, an anomaly. Uh, because we did that record, we really recorded it in 2002. And, uh, you know, it just happened to come out and, and you know, <laughs> top the charts in, in America, the billboard charts, at number one for 11 weeks. So, you know, that in a sense has really given me my life um, and changed my life in a sense in this industry so um, you know I think it's a testament to people wanting to hear something different and hear something with substance and hear something that people you know resonates with a whole lot of people not just one um, you know genre not just one um, you know background and, and color and this and that and creed it, it crossed creeds it crossed, uh, crossed colors it, it, it crossed musical genre so the river um you know it, it was an anomaly for me so it, it was very proud and to me it was the new age midnight train to georgia so mm. it topped the billboard charts um at number one for 11 weeks so wow, that's, that's the reason why i'm say. here yes it was <laughs> so thank you very much for everybody out there all the team noel members that are uh, you know had a part in, in keeping that at number one Foxy. And Foxy is just <laughs> for the ladies. I mean, it's, you know what it really was? I wrote it based on Prince's uh, Raspberry Beret. Oh. But to him, you know, down by old man Johnson's farm on the back of a bike. But to me, you know, which, I mean, it's my trademark, Natalie, so don't try to bite it. I will <laughs> sue you. Look, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, to, to hearken to the back back to the to the old times and you know retro mm. and then relevancy to stay relevant in today's time um you know prince's raspberry beret and then now nowadays with people with the cars i mean i love lexus so that's why i put lexus 460 in it and you know to take a ride up to the lake and just hang out with your woman or somebody you know that that completes you so that's what it is about foxy f-o-x-x-x-y and uh, yeah, yeah, check it out. Taylor, we just filmed for Community ITV at the Jazz Cafe with Noel Gordon. See you later. Hey, we're shaking, y'all. This here is Noel Gordon, and I'm coming at you on Community ITV. Yeah, yeah, check it out. All day long, girl, girl. and that's just wrong, girl.